What's going on on my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob and welcome to another installment of Vlog in the Movies. You get to see a good little view of my bedroom in this video. My sister's holding the camera on this Hi. part. <laughs> Alright, like the job of the hut there and baby Groot and the Middle Earth and I got some Star Wars stuff, Avengers stuff, Funko Pops. Uh, yeah, pretty cool little setup, right? So, vlogging the movies in this video, kind of similar to what I've been doing with my sister. I have a bag uh, with a piece of paper. If you've seen some of my physical media videos, I have a big collection of movies. And all of the slips in this bag are movies in the collection that I have not seen. There's a bunch that my sister hasn't seen that I've seen, but these are all the ones that I have not seen. And so today, for this week's vlog, I'm going to reveal what movie I'm going to watch for the first time and vlog it in this week's video. What are we going to do? What am I going to do? All right, I, th I think I picked one. All right. Let's see. All right. Can you guys see? Hope you guys can see. All right. Looks like I'll be watching this week. The Shadow Riders. Oh. I think that's an old western from the 80s. And I think it stars oh, Sam Elliott. And I, I enjoy Sam Elliott. So I think this is going to be a fun time. Jamie, didn't you say you watched that movie once? Yeah, I did. Yeah, somehow I missed it. And so I'm going to watch The Shadow Riders this yeah, week. Yeah, I found that in my stash of movies of all places. Yeah, and it's downstairs now. So I'm going to check out The Shadow Riders this week. Starring the legendary Sam Elliott and his amazing mustache. So, here we go. I can't wait. About to watch Shadow Riders. Kill you. Comes a breathtaking adventure with an all-star cast. Stop this train. Do it now. The Shadow Riders. So I just finished watching the movie The Shadow Riders in this edition of Vlog in the Movies. If you're unaware what this movie is, this is a Western film that was released in 1982. Come to find out it was actually a made-for-TV film. I didn't realize that going in. And then when I started watching a movie, I'm like, why does this movie feel like it has a lower quality compared to most movies made in the 80s? And then I was like, then I looked it up and I'm like, yeah, okay, it's a made for TV movie. That makes more sense. But this film does star Tom Selleck and Sam Elliott. And so that kind of elevated me, I guess, from to watch the movie. And it's... Okay, that's probably the best way I can describe this movie. Uh, the plot of this movie, Tom Selleck and Sam Elliott play brothers. This film is set at the end of the Civil War. Both characters fought in the war, but on opposing sides. And so they reconcile after the war is over. And they return home to find out that some women in their life uh, got taken and kidnapped and are being sent and sold into prostitution. And so the two brothers end up going after them pretty much. And one of the women is played by Catherine Ross, who was also in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. And then come to find out, she fell in love with Sam Elliott in real life and got married together. And that's an interesting story in itself. Uh, the movie itself, like I said, it's okay. This is a plot that's been done so many times in Western films where characters are kidnapped and our main characters go off and go on this epic quest to rescue them. I think the best movie that I know with that trope that's executed so well is the John Ford movie The Searchers from 1956 starring John Wayne, which is a fantastic movie, dives on a lot of really dark subject matter, especially for a movie of that time, and... It's one of the best-made westerns of all time uh, for many, many reasons. 
And this one just felt like it was, you know, just treading on thin ice. It's like a deja vu type movie. I mean, it's a serviceable movie for what it is. I mean, Tom Selleck and Sam Elliott are great together. I bought their chemistry as brothers, and they did a good job of chewing up the scenery in many scenes of the movie. The movie, for a TV film, it's not like mind-blowing cinematography or anything, but it's a well-crafted movie for a made-for-TV film, and there's some solid action set pieces in the film, especially the third act, which involves a train heist. And I'm a sucker for train heists in any movie, so... There's good aspects in this movie. However, the film does feel run-of-the-mill deja vu, and it's definitely not like a must-watch movie for anything like that. If you're a fan of the genre and you like the actors, then you'll enjoy this movie fine. But if you want a breakthrough, game-changing western, The Shadow Riders definitely is not the movie for you. But I didn't hate the movie. I actually enjoyed the setup of the movie, and I enjoyed the spectacle of the movie, but it's far from a mind-blowing movie, if that, that's the best way to put it. Uh, the performances were fine, there's good set pieces, but the story itself has been there, done that, and it doesn't really do anything to set itself apart from other movies in the Western genre, which have similar premises as a movie like this. Like, if you want a movie that has this premise but done better, uh, I would definitely recommend The Searchers. I think that is a much better movie that tackles a very similar premise with different circumstances, but it's in the same veins. The Shadow Riders is okay. Uh, I don't, I, I didn't, I can't say this is a time waster because there's enjoyable aspects in it, but it's far from the best Western I've ever seen. But if you can find it cheap, it's a movie that I think you might enjoy it if you're a fan of the genre. At the end of the day, I'll be giving The Shadow Riders a 3 out of 5 stars. And on the 100 point scale, it's getting a 56 out of 100. So I hope you enjoyed my vlog video on The Shadow Riders as part of this edition of Vlog in the Movies. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out my Vlog in the Movies playlist of all the other vlog videos I've done on my channel, whether I react to movies I've never seen before, whether in my physical media collection or on streaming services, or movies my sister's never seen before, or re-watches for certain director projects, whatever I feel like doing, you can click the link in the description below to check out past vlog videos I've done on the channel. If you've seen The Shadow Riders, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, I usually do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!